my name is Pete Scarpelli. I'm the global head of energy service for the company, for CBRE. Um, CBRE. CBRE is the world's largest property management company. Um, we manage about 3.2 billion square feet on a global basis. We have. It's a lot of feet. It's 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 a lot of uh, a lot of feet. <laughs> we we have um, a lot of div- diverse level of clients. Mm-hmm. You know, those clients range from our multi-tenant facilities down, you know, like your typical downtown office tower, right, um, and. Uh, into our corporate facilities. We manage uh, facilities for about 150 or more, actually, of uh, the global or Fortune 500, in which we are the, the responsible party for managing their uh, supply side and demand side services. Now, are these always leased uh, structures Absolutely or are they not. often owned? Absolutely. Owner not. occupied? Um, it, it, uh, obviously, when we talk about our multi tenant facilities, we are generally hired by the owner of the building. Um, to manage the facility on their behalf. When we are talking about our corporate facilities, we, we, they, they have a um, certain percentage in which they own, they have a percentage mm-hmm. in which they net lease, and a percentage in which they gross lease. Okay. So, uh, it, more often than not. Uh, so, obviously from an energy and sustainability perspective, or more specifically from an energy perspective, in our corporate customers, we spend most of our time looking at the uh, owned facilities and the net lease facilities because fundamentally in the net lease facilities are paying the bills. Mm -hmm. Um, In the gross lease facilities, it's part of the rent rate. And um, even if I install a big project and save lots of money, the client doesn't actually get the direct benefit. The building owner does. Right. Um, So the split incentive challenge. Right. Um, So as we, to, to the second half of your question, what is it that we're looking at? You know, we spend a lot of our time actually almost all of our time, all of our time, focused on designing the energy and sustainability strategy for those customers. Mm -hmm. So our team, our responsibility, we we take responsibility for strategy and diagnostic. Mm -hmm. So what that means to us is that we set the roadmap, the plan, as to how we're going to attack and manage the cost structure. Mm -hmm. And uh, the diagnostic is that we, uh, we have people on staff that identify saving opportunities, whether they are from a, um, a supply side rate structure or from a demand side efficiency project. For example, you know, you ask about it, what, what are we doing that's different in the industry? Mm-hmm. Well, we have, we're self-performing more services, I believe, than most of our, uh, our colleagues in the industry, um, in which we have um, energy teams that will do audits. I have a team of people that all they do is energy audits. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a team of people that all they do is supply side purchasing for customers. Um, but that's not a technology service, right? That, that is what I call the foundation. We have to have the basic blocking and tackling. One of the things I learned as I joined the company a couple, few years ago was that a lot of our customers didn't have that foundation. They needed to have that basic energy management fundamentals. Um, and once we've got the foundation, that roadmap, uh, then we start to layer in technologies. Okay. 